So my previous batch of wheatgrass are starting to wilt, as you can see. So it's time that I start to make a new batch for Mia. This is just a normal procedure where I put the soy into the planting pots that I have right there. But I try to put the soy all the way to the top because when the wheat seeds start to grow, Mia can start to munch on from the top. Okay, so this is my super huge bag of wheat seeds that I bought. I highly recommend you to get a really big bulk of wheat seeds because most likely you're going to have to regrow the wheat grass every few weeks or so because they wilt very quickly. And for me, buying the uh, wheat seeds kit for cats is just too little, it's not enough, and it's also way overpriced in my opinion. And then just take a handful of the seeds and just spread them on top of the soy. It's really easy. And now I'm just doing something that I have no idea what I was doing. So you don't have to do this. Skip this step, please. So now because the soil is really dry, so I'm going to water until water drips from the bottom of the pot to make sure that the whole soil is wet. Okay, do you see there the water is dripping from the bottom? And now I also add water into the tray here to prevent the ants from coming. There's so many ants here, I don't know why, but it's just I just can't stop them from eating all the wee seeds. So this is the only way that I can do. You don't need to water this every day. I would highly recommend every four days or so, but if you see the top, if the soil gets a little bit dry, then I would use a spray water bottle to spray on the top. I was just lazy, so I poured a little bit of water here, and I realized that I kind of overwatered it, which is fine. But sometimes it's going to get moldy on top a bit when you overwater. So I'm just going to take it out of the tray and let it drip at the bottom like this for a few hours. This grows really fast, so starting on day 5, your cat can actually start to munch on it right away. I think this is day 6 or 7, and our little fella is already testing on the quality of the cross. She's loving it, by the way. It's gonna continue to grow taller and taller every day, but after about 2 weeks, you're gonna see it start to wilt quite slowly, and by that time, you should start to make a new batch, because that's how we're obsessed with our cats. This is what it looks like, I think, a couple of days later. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planting, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!